Morning guys, this morning, Rose is in bed. She's got a little bit of a headache. So I'm looking after Minion, as you can hear, baby shark. Uh, and then we've got our Instagram live. It's Tuesday morning in a few minutes. And I've had a email today, or actually yesterday, from a delivery company. It says, I have a package coming today, which is 77 kilos. And I've, I've made a massive error ordering something like bog roll because I have not purchased anything or ordered anything that weighs 77 kilos. I've asked about to ask if anyone sent me anything. Like, is it knocko? It's a lot of knocko if that's the case, but it's not. So today we will find out what this package is and the mystery shall be revealed. Milk? You got some hot milk? Do you want some more milk? Is that what you're saying? Oh. What'd you say? Bobby, what'd you say when you asked for something? Excuse me? What, how do you say please? Please. Okay. We are cooking on gas this morning. Uh, did the uh, coffee club with Bobby, which is always interesting. So I was running around a bit, but I think it went okay. Um, I've just filmed a video for Instagram, an educational one that I do every Monday. And that was about our eggs bath for you. Can you eat three to six eggs a day, for example? And then we talked about cholesterol because it's massively misunderstood. Uh, and it's something that I really want to help people with the best way that I can. Um, and now I'm going to edit that. And I've just had an email that said within the next hour, this package of 70 seven kilos of whatever the hell it is it's gonna be arriving I hope it's like not someone's frauded my account and just bought a load of I don't know sex lube or something actually that'd be great but <laughs> I don't know what they're going but I don't know what it is oh doorbell's gone good morning Hello, how you is doing it, is it good morning well it's a Tuesday. It's a dank morning, isn't it? Yeah. I've got some fitness gear for you. Amazing. Sounds right. great. He said it's fitness gear, which must mean it's from Wolverson. It means I need to get the garage keys. Oh, I wonder what it's going to be. Could be a rower. Could be a rower. I asked ages ago, could I get a rower? We got a rower. This is my bag of bits. Let's put this bad boy together and test it out. I like this, this is nice and easy. Everything's labeled out for where it goes. I don't normally read instructions, but today I'm going to. Don't let it fall on me. Say you a good guy. Make me believe it. Don't want to hear it. Oh, it didn't take too long to put together. Well, we took 15, 20 minutes, to be honest, with reading the instructions. Gonna give it a little go, then I'm gonna read the instructions from the screen. I think there might be an update coming for the screen as well, actually. Uh, Leon was telling me the other day. As soon as we've got the rower, today's workout, I'm gonna do one of my favorites. Cool little fitness test. It's like the Miko Triangle, but ascending. So what that means is I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start 15 calories on bike in minute one, then go to 15 calories row, minute two, 15 calories ski, minute three, minute four is rest. Then the next round, I'm gonna increase to 16 calories and keep going up by calorie around and see how far I've get, got. I've never completed a round of 20 before. I can never get it done on the ski erg. It's just too much to get on the ski normally. So we'll just see what happens. Um, haven't done this for a long time. I'm expecting to probably be a little way off that. But we'll just give it a go and we'll see, we'll see what happens. Get some tunes on and have some fun. To be honest, I'm not even gonna bother with warming up. I'm just gonna jump on the bike because I'll be warm after the first round. And this playlist is fucking shite.
missed the last calorie by a second to 19. <laughs> Max heart rate. <sighs> we can see that. A lot of time in the red. I've spent the last good hour or so just programming some clients, replying to some messages um, after that workout, which as you heard my breathing at the end, got pretty damn tough. It's hard because the machines switch themselves off in time, so by the time you get back to it, it's like, if you transition on the minute, which it takes you to do the minute when it gets to the 19 round, you're already seven seconds in before you've even started pulling any calories, which gets makes life hard. Anyway, next up, I'm gonna take my little daughter on her bike that I bought her for a little walk. I'll probably take my iPhone out and just do some filming on that because I don't want to carry this big camera. Um, and I thought I'd bring you guys for the for the drive because it is particularly fun. And she's an absolute babe. Bobby, do you want to come for? Do you want to go on a bike ride? <laughs> come on, then, get your bike. Let's go. Yeah. I'll take your crayon, thank you. Oh. Quick, get your bike, get your bike, get your bike. She's off, get your bike. Right, I've gone too fast. We need jumper, we need shoes and a coat. So, get your shoes. Okay. Get your shoes, quick, get your shoes. Quick. Quick, yeah, get your shoes, come on. Quick, quick get your shoes. Oh, a bit snug these, aren't they, Bear? Uh, I did that. Ugh. Alright, say bye 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 to mummy. See ya! Where are we going to, Bobs? This is great, this little bike. You turn the handle and it steers. You'll get a wet foot in there, Bobby. Yeah, that'll be a wet foot, Daddy. Me. Oh, good save, but that's a very wet leg, isn't it? Okay, we're back in the garage. This is the first second session or double session day I've done since well before lockdown. Um, it's not something I normally do. Um, I just did conditioning today, and as you guys know, um, I worked really hard on my squat strength this year, and I don't want to give that up, so I'm just gonna come in, just do some squats, um, build up to a rough, a, a relatively heavy front squat with a three second pause at the bottom. Got a bit of a tweaked back at the moment, so I'm gonna uh, manage that, see how I feel. If it hurts, I'll just stop. Um, and it was just from a lot of dumbbell snatches in some kind of competition workout we did last week. Actually, it was in the last video. Um, I was pretty sore after that and I got a little niggle in, in the Saturday workout that we did. So I'm just going to see how I feel. I want to just give some talking points on the Wolverson rower that I've got so far. So, so far, it's a lot sturdier than a concept rower. And I prefer the seat position that you just feel like you can just generate a little more power in the position that you're in. And the seat's very sturdy. There's no left or righty that you get when you sit on a concept. And that might be just because the concepts are older that I use at the gym. I don't know. So from what I've seen so far, I really like it. Um, what I don't know yet is how that matches up to the speed and the effort you put on a, on a concept one. It felt very similar in terms of calories. It's pretty much what I'd normally do on the um, on the concept rower for the Miko. Uh, it's something that actually Leon's looking into at the moment. Um, so we're just gonna kind of refine that. I believe if it's not quite right, we'll just come with an update and fix it as far as I'm aware. Um, but it feels pretty good at the moment. So uh, let's crack on with these fun squats. Stacking them all up on one has saved a bunch of space. Should have done that a long time ago. Now to put this guy up there. It's now time for me to make dinner for the girls and spend some time with this little nudie Rudy. So, hello darling. So that's where I'm gonna end today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment below if you did. I'll see you in the next one.